I've personally had very little experience of playing VR, so I was eager to get some time on the best looking VR games at EGX Res. It was easy to see from watching others play that SciTech Games Windlands 2 was definitely going to be one of them. Windlands 2 is best described as the ultimate VR Spider-Man experience. As you move through the open-ended levels by swinging from grappling hooks you have in each hand, which help deliver some extremely fluid and fast movements. But it shouldn't be ignored that the game holds a great original future fantasy world that feels awesome to fling yourself around in. The swinging movements were by far my favourite element of the game. As a game mechanic, it's put together incredibly well, and when I started to pull off chains of really good swings, it was a lot of fun and very satisfying. I was by no means good at the game, and I'm sure it was breaking the dev's heart watching someone perform so poorly, but I wholeheartedly believe that my ineptitude came from my inexperience with VR and not any fault of the game itself. If I'd had a little more time, I really would have started to nail the slick traversal mechanics. Having the drive to want to do better is something I feel the game gets very right. I could have easily sat there all day to hone my sweet swinging skills, but unfortunately only managed a short 10 minutes. I am proud to say though that my team of four was the first team to beat the boss in the entire show, and I'm even prouder to say that I made it there just in time to see the end boss be defeated. Overall, Winlands 2 is a great VR experience and a great gaming experience. Currently, the game will only be available on Oculus Rift, but will hopefully be coming to Vive and PSVR sometime after release, which is set to be later this year. To see what other games we played at EGX Res, to see what other games we played at EGX Res, why not check out our other hands-on impressions? And to keep up with more indie game content, make sure you subscribe and head on over to indie-credible.com.